Welcome to Room by the Hour. I'm your host, Lloyd. Thanks for subscribing and sharing and all the stuff that y'all do. Anywho, did you know that Memphis, Tennessee, actually right over there, FedEx, was where Tom Hanks worked and where the entire movie started? Because he came to the airport, got on a plane, shipped a clock, blah, 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 went to Russia, and then he crashed a plane and got Wilson. And yeah. Also, fun fact the scene where he actually ended up delivering that last package to the place is actually only about 30 miles from where i grew up now you know let's get to the action well i kind of lied i'm not actually in memphis tennessee i'm actually in west memphis arkansas and right over here is the petro which is on the other side of this hotel and i'm staying at the super eight here all right so we have us a king bed, a queen bed, I'm sorry. And now, granted, this hotel is actually getting remodeled. This one's the older rooms. The TV works, microwave works, the fridge kind of works. As you can tell, this was on a smoking room, but it's not really a smoking room, but the whole hotel kind of smells like smoke. So I have learned that they are getting a full kitchen remodel because the city is telling them they have to if they want to have a hot breakfast so they just got the crappy cop COVID cop out continental breakfast but we got soap well there's the other rest of it cool do I even need to say anything I hate short showers well I haven't used the restroom so that's not me so one town, actually a pretty decent town. Not real scratchy, but it's kind of fluffy. I will be honest, that chair looks a little scary. Yeah, you know it. Oh, some buck, that's like a sheep. That's thin as can be. That's clean. All right, let's do it. Ugh. Oh, this bed's comfortable as shit. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. When I say I'm by the truck stop, I mean, like, literally, I'm next to the truck stop. It's freaking cold. I don't know what happened to the other, like, little half-ass blanket thing. Cheats for blankets suck. So I had coffee in the room. And, uh, I don't realize all those things. So I go look for it, and, uh, yeah, I had to go to the front to get coffee. And, uh, yeah, that sucks. No coffee. Well, there's there's coffee now because I had to go to the front. Um, yeah. If you need to blow your nose, that is where the clearance is. Except it's not there. I will say, towels are actually really nice. Um, man, we're, we're, we're lowering down on the star rating on this puppy. I think we're definitely at a one now. I'm debating about a half. Yeah, I think I was just going to leave you with a three minute video, right? Well, let's go ahead and add one. I'm in a quality end on the north side of Albany next to the airport. So, it's actually $86 a night. Everything else around here is like... 150 some on so yeah we should probably go check out the gym first no i'm not working out tonight ain't that cool as hell oh there's somebody in there but uh i like those presents and stuff but yeah there's actually a pretty decent little gym in there there's also conference rooms in here yeah Pretty nice. The colony room. Mm hmm. Let's go check out my room. Oh, there's another office here. I don't know if you can see through the wall, but ain't that pretty? The pool was not available. That's what it said. I didn't ask if it was broke down or what. I ain't really ain't got time. I don't know if you can tell. It's dark. I gotta get up early and I gotta fight literally the beltway going through Jersey and New York and. Yeah, all the way down. It's gonna suck. So, we got a king suite. And I know it's nothing to really say about, but $86 a night, now I'm in Albany, New York. 
What's up? I know. I look like shit. Because I'm tired. It's been a long time. Like 3,000 miles. So we got coffee. We got a microwave. We got a fridge. That actually works. In the old bathroom. We got the soaps, the shampoos, the conditioners, all of that good stuff. I'm going to be using that shortly. Do you know how much being able to get under these things is nice? Because, yeah, it is. So, the towels are super soft. Wash rags, ooh, really soft. And then, yeah. So, we got a couch, a little reading lamp, and a desk over here. The couch is, uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. But that bothers me though. What is that? And why is that there? Yeah, I don't think I'm in a presidential suite. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah, I'll buy that. It's a temperature control. So, then we got the bed. Which is, I'm pretty sure that this was used as a honeymoon suite. Because they probably did some kinky stuff where they tied a rope over there and a rope over there to this bed post. And they ripped it off. Either that or somebody came in and found their wife or whatever with some other dude and they just ripped it off and beat him to death i don't see no blood stains so maybe that's not it but let's check this part man it's got a thick blanket it's heavy looks pretty clean yeah this is kind of after that one time whenever i hit the rock hard bed this kind of scares me sometimes oh this was rock hard that's see i i, I needed to be scared on this one it's gonna suck Oh, I'm so tired. I don't even know that I'm on a camera. TV does work, though. You ever, like, flip on the TV and then you see an actor that you're like, I know that guy. And then you realize that show was, like, 20 years ago. And that was before they got cool. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. It's a good thing I charged my phone completely on the way over here. Yeah. There's, there ain't no outlets next to the bed. See, yeah, I was wondering why this one didn't work. Just curious. Nope, that ain't it. Nope. That ain't it. Yeah. So that outlet. Well, hell, it does work. Because the damn alarm clock works. I don't know what's going on. My phone charger did not work on it, though. So, yeah. I better turn the heater on. See if it works. Because you know what happened in North Dakota? Because that would suck. Again. I've been cold for three days. I've been in Canada and yeah, it sucks. To clarify, when I say cold, I really mean cold and wet. Like laying on the ground, holes of water, while it's snowing and sleeting, cold and wet. Fact, that's what I was doing. I might say 76, but it's actually blowing warm-ish air. So I think I'll be all right. I'll say this, the bed, the mattress may not be comfortable, but the blanket is like thick and like heavy. So I'm probably gonna sleep pretty decent. Yeah, that blanket was amazing. Bed was hard, but blanket was amazing. I actually slept really, really well. It's 12 30 in the morning. There you go. I need a shower. I'm about to get really woken up because. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold water. Not cold. Luke. Very lukewarm. Room temperature or whatnot. But yeah, I'm about to get an ice bath I didn't expect. So as you can tell, there is not a single bit of steam in this window. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it, it started warming up towards the end, so it may be just that I'm at the end of the line. But, uh, I mean, when I say warming up, I mean, we went from, like, 70 to maybe 80. Holy hell, I hate cold charms. But I'm awake now. I don't need no more coffee. Oh, uh, the pool's over there. That's why it's unavailable, because it's freezing. Quality? I didn't need the ice bath, but, uh, yeah. I'd probably stay here again if I had to, just, but it, it's just dated. It just needs a... A refresh and it'll be a great hotel, I think. Good bones. <laughs>